class. Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we are going to start with section 1.1 in geometry, which is all about nets and drawing uh, for geometry. So start with basic vocab. A net is a two-dimensional drawing that represents a three-dimensional solid figure. Uh, in geometry, we use nets to do things like surface areas of three-dimensional figures, um, but today we're just going to focus on simply how to draw a net. So we're going to start with example one. We have two shapes here. The first is a rectangular-based pyramid. And before we start drawing, we want to figure out how many shapes we're going to end up with. So we're going to count, they're called faces, we're going to count the faces on our solid figure. Here, on our rectangular base pyramid, we have five faces, so we need to make sure we draw five shapes on our net. Um, we can start with whatever shape we want. I like to start with the bottom one usually. So here, I'm going to start with our rectangle, and then from each side of our rectangle, we have triangles coming out like this. And they don't have to be perfect, but try to make them as nice as you can. And that's it. Not too complicated. Basic net. Um, let's do another one for some extra practice here. So next we have what's called a pentagonal prism. We have two pentagons and they're connected with a series of rectangles. So this one is going to be a little more complicated to draw, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to start with the rectangles. So if we think about what we did with our first example, it's kind of like we unfolded or unraveled our figure. So if I unravel this prism, I'm going to have, well, let's count how many faces. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five rectangles and two pentagons, so seven faces, and I'm gonna start with my five rectangles. And to make it easy for myself, I'm gonna draw them all stuck together. If I unravel them, they're all stuck together, so it's okay. We wanna make sure all of our faces are connected. And then I have my two pentagons. So I'm gonna draw one of them like that. And then the other one, it gets a little tricky because it matters where we put it to a certain extent. We can't put it on the same side. We can't also put it on the bottom where that other pentagon is because then if we rolled this thing up, those two pentagons would overlap and they wouldn't make our three-dimensional shape. So what we want to do is we want to stick it on the other side, on the top row of our rectangles. And it doesn't matter if it's in the beginning, middle, or the end. I'm going to put it over here just because I feel like it, but make sure that it goes on that top row. And there is our net for our pentagonal prism. Uh, we have one more example here. And on this one, now it looks like our first example, but we're going to do something slightly different with this one. We are going to put dimensions on this figure. So let's say that we had I don't know, four inches here, um, five inches here, and six inches here. We'll make it pretty basic. These are what we're going to see later on in geometry when we're doing surface area of these figures. And when we make our net, we want to make sure to label every part of our net with those dimensions. So I'm going to draw the same net as I did before, but this time I'm not done here. I have one more step. I need to put those numbers, those dimensions, onto my figure. So I have four inches on each of, uh, on these sides here. I have five inches on the other sides of my rectangle, and then six inches. Now, six inches is this edge of our triangle, and because it doesn't say otherwise, we can actually assume that all of those edges are all six inches. So I'm going to put those on each edge of my triangles. All right. That concludes our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. And remember, math is fundamental.